I'm Colleen Taylor. You're watching TechCrunch TV. Here with me in the studio is Eric Queso, who's the founder and CEO of Entangled Media, which just raised $3.5 million. So thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. And I just talked to you very recently on our trip to Los Angeles, yep. which is where you guys are based. Um, but for anyone who, who wasn't watching, didn't see that, what is Entangled Media uh, and what's this funding all about? So uh, Entangle Media produces a product called Unity that builds a personal cloud from your devices and your online services. So you can have all your files and all your devices all the time without syncing or storage limits and without configuration or management of any kind. So Unity allows you to spontaneously access your photos, videos, music, or documents uh, from your iPhone or your iPad without having to plan ahead. Okay, and we've got your iPhone right here, and so what we didn't really get to do last time that we talked was really see it in action. So can we, can we see sure. what this is all about? Yeah. So Unity is installed like a lot of apps. Uh, you put it on your phone, put it on your computer, uh, and uh, once you've set it up, you forget about it. You don't have to use it at all. You open it, and what you see here is a complete unified view of all the files you have across all of your devices. There's no consideration of, is it on my laptop or my desktop uh, or in one of the cloud services. We only care about your files because, you know, regardless of where they are, they're yours. So we can quickly come in, look at our music libraries, uh, this isn't just your files, it's really your media libraries, because a lot of your files, like a document, you access in a very sort of atomic fashion. But your media libraries are organized, normally they're application specific because you might use iTunes. Uh, in a lot of households, like in mine, my wife has an iTunes account, I have one. We move from computer to computer. We don't think about whether she's buying music on my computer or on my account, or on her, I'm buying it on her account. And you can't plug your devices into all these computers, so a lot of times your music gets stuck. So in, in this case, we can come over and look at the playlist. I can go and find you know, something that my wife might have. Um, you know, start this playlist. It's going to stream it on demand from the device back in Santa Monica. right? Really quickly, it optimizes the, the media so that it's iPhone compatible. Uh, so if this is in an audio format that the iPhone won't play, we'll quickly transcode it, make sure that not only is it optimized for the bandwidth that we have here, but also for the format that it can play. While this is playing, we can even come over, you know, look at the files that I have across all of my devices and see some of the cloud services that I use here. I can go into, um, you know, my documents folder on one of my devices, grab this. If I needed to email it or edit it, I can go ahead and do that. Uh, we can come over and look at the photos that we have. Um, and this is all of my photos across all my devices and over 19,000 photos that I have. And it's not just my photos, but it's also all of the um, all of the photo albums that I have. And like a lot of people, in many cases, I actually don't know where my photos are. So if I want to search for a file, um, and I'm not sure which device it's on, it might actually be on one of my wife's computers. Uh, very quickly, I can find, oh, this is the photo that I wanted. And I don't even have to wonder where it is or what folder it's in or anything like that. Um, so the last thing is, obviously, people keep a lot of video. Um, and we want to make sure that the video experience you have is as close to native and local as possible. Uh, so when I go and open up, let's say, a two gigabyte video of mine, um, even over this type of bandwidth, um, very quickly it's going to transcode it for the, for the bandwidth we have here, and it'll start playing in just a few seconds. It looks great. How did you do this? What was it that you and your team figured out? What is the secret that makes this work? I think it's probably philosophical. Um, we came at this problem from the approach of we just don't care about devices, right? Over the last 10 years, all of us have really moved towards becoming multi-device users. It used to be that we would compute for productivity reasons, to write a document, maybe send an email, something like that. And now people generally compute all day, every day for all sorts of reasons. So over this period of time, while we all became multi-device users, operating systems, as good as they've become, they're beautiful, they're fast, they've got great features, they're still designed around single device usage. So we just don't care about the devices. We care about your content, your files. So from our perspective, it was how do we tie your content to your identity? Forget about the device. And, and that's really what guided our sort of product roadmap in figuring out how do you want to engage your stuff? Do you care about the laptop or the desktop or um, you know, your spouse's computer? Or do you simply care about the file that you're looking for? And that said, you have this philosophical way that you've looked at it, but there's also proprietary technology that you have here too, right? This is, there's we do. patents we have, here. We have multiple patents on what we're doing that, uh, that are sort of emblematic of the approach we've taken, the philosophy we've, we've, we've you know, sort of had that, that we use to approach the problem. And who's your biggest competitor? Uh, you would think that a lot of big companies would be working on, on something like this. 
It seems like it's a big, obvious problem. We would say our, 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 our competitor is iCloud. Um, we often say we're what everyone wanted iCloud to be. Um, of course, you know, iCloud has some limitations. You have to be using you know, Apple products. You have to be using Apple software. Um, you have to set up iCloud for photos, which is different for iCloud for music, which is different from iCloud for documents. Um, so you know, there's, uh, you know, as great as Apple products are, sometimes there's a lot of lock-in. Um, we're very agnostic. We're agnostic to whether you're a Windows and a Mac user, iOS or other platforms. Uh, we're storage agnostic. We don't care where you keep your things. Uh, we, don't, we don't mind if it's on the device or if it's in a cloud service. To us, you know, we're not really about the storage of your files as much as the unification for you as an individual around your identity. And what's the deal with this funding? What are the plans going forward? You've got three and a half million seed, which is a nice amount of seed money. What are you going to do with that? So we're building up our team, and, and really what we've been able to do is sort of show the proof of concept of what Nudity is now, and sort of how we're looking at this problem. Um, but it, it is the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of Unity that we've built that, that is a small team, especially with a very, very complicated piece of technology. It's tough to get that out to a lot of users. So um, finally being able to have you know, customer support, having a QA team, building up our engineering team so they can be more responsive to user feedback. The engagement we've seen from the initial beta users we've had is great. And uh, you know, it's really exciting to see how, how much demand there is in the market for this problem because it's something that everyone, everyone sort of interacts with on a daily basis. And I think you know, from what we've seen, most people just sort of acquiesce to the fact that I, I, there is no solution. So seeing people flock to our service and our users grow and seeing them really engaged, I think you know, with this money, we're able to now build the company that can go and take this solution to a bigger market, expand our platforms, and show some really exciting stuff that we've been working on that, that you know, a bigger team is going to help us get to market. Great. Well, Eric Queso, Entangled Media, thanks for showing us unity. And uh, keep us abreast of everything that happens. Great. Thank you.